so this summer I got the opportunity to work with Professor Jennifer Swan, who's a neuroscientist, and then art professor Deirdre Murphy, and basically our project was illustrating the anatomy and mechanisms of the human brain. And nerve nets are just collections of neurons that seem to be able to... We take art for granted until you try to do it, and then you realize that there it, it is a real talent, and people are like, oh no, everybody can draw it. No, they can't. No, they can't. Now, can you sit down and make that circle? Yes. But can you make that circle look like a person's face? And that's what artists do. They get to, they see the relationship of all those objects and the shading and the line depth and the blah, blah, and they put it together and you're like, that's a face. I think one of the challenges is the communication with uh, the science and the art. So it's basically making sure that when I illustrate something, it's not just based on what I know, but what is correct. So there were some aspects where I like slightly misplaced something on the brain and then Professor Swan has to be like, it's such a beautiful illustration, but wrong. <laughs> like we can't use this, right? So you have to be able to like adapt and adjust and know that it's not just like something that looks good and you're like, that looks like a brain to me, but something that's accurate that a scientist can be like, that is an education tool. Me that really are complicated and need mm -hmm. This was all done during a pandemic, during quarantine, when it is so easy to feel overwhelmed and isolated. They had to wake up every day and get to work. And the work that they're doing um, is going to have a profound ripple effect for students in the future um, and for research in the future. So there's four of them. There's the superior colliculus and the inferior colliculus. Those are called the corporate trigemini. They it's make great up. because they're both super passionate and knowledgeable in what they do. So when they come together, it's like, how could we not do great work? You just sit there and you listen and you're like absorbing all this information. You're like, give me more. <laughs> now on their resume, they have a job listed. They have an internship fellowship listed. They have an exhibition listed and they earned money, which is to me really important. I think as scientists, we should really invest more in having more scientific illustration done by actual artists because they give you perspective. It helps the reader get closer to the idea you're trying to get across. I'm very grateful for this project because this is the first time that I've ever had a job experience where it's kind of a direct lens into my future of like, wow, I can see myself doing this. You know, this is exactly the kind of work that I want to be doing for other people. I can be the bridge between a scientist and their audience and create content that explains or transforms it into something that everyone can see and view and take from.